Don't you quit. Don't you quit. You do make a difference. You do make a difference. As weak as you are, as tired as you are, as many mistakes as you made, you do make a difference. There is something they would lose if you were not there. There was something that they would miss if you were not there. You do make a difference. You don't have to force yourself or motivate yourself to think negatively, to be depressed, to hate somebody, to want revenge, to want to get back at somebody, to beat yourself up over the head, to feel loaded with guilt. You don't have to make any effort to do that. Your mind is on automatic. It will do that by itself. But if you want to begin to move into your own personal greatness, if you want to begin to really enjoy a happy, successful, healthy life, you've got to be willing to go against the tide. You've got to be willing to harness your will and say, in spite of this, I'm in control here. I'm not going to let this get me down. I'm not going to let this destroy me. You want it and you're going to go all out to have it. You need to make it a habit to start every fucking day validating yourself because life is a marathon and this might be a challenging leg where you're like, I'm just going to throw in the towel. I'm not going to do that thing. Hell no. You've got to focus on you and as you convince you, as you sell yourself every day, every day, you will begin to see a difference in the things that you're doing. Telling yourself every day, here I go again and I got what it takes. This is my day and nothing out here is going to stop me. My back is up against this motherfucker every day and I got to go that way. And I don't give a f- who is in front of me. They're not going to stop me. I want what all other men want. But when the opposition hits, when the challenge hits, when the pain creeps in, when the uncertainty creeps in, when the clutch, when the scars, when the bruises come, I just want it a little bit more than they want it. If you dare to be great, if you dare to do something that you've never done before, if you dare to go to limits that you've never went to before, they will remember your legacy forever. If you are still alive, there's still room for improvement. There's still room for growth. There's still room to grow and be better. It's not going to be easy when you want to change. It's not easy. If it were in fact easy, everybody would do it. But if you're serious, you'll go all out. We turn tragedy into triumph. That's what lions do. Lions don't cry. Lions don't give up. Lions don't quit. Lions hunt. That's what we do for a living. When you are a true hunter, you don't go by time. You go by the gazelle. You hunt until you get a gazelle and you don't stop until you get one. Success, guys, a very, very lonely road, man. Very few people are willing to endure pain, the sacrifice, the due diligence to be successful. It's an uphill battle. Along that road, you're not going to see too many friends. You're going to see your shadow most often. When everybody is against you or don't believe in you no more, it's a lonely feeling. They look at you with that look and say, why don't you try something else? Why don't you give up? There will be times when you will feel alone and you will feel deserted when you feel weak and you doubt yourself and other people will doubt you and you ask yourself, am I crazy? People are going to think you're crazy and sometimes you're going to think you're crazy you're going to question yourself it's hard to pick yourself up when you experience setbacks and people don't see the vision no one else believes in you that's going to happen but we all have a choice the choice is you can let the outside noise affect you or drive you what's it going to be there's been so many times in our lives where people tell you you can't do something where would you be if every single time someone told you you can't do something you listen to them oh you're being unrealistic you're dreaming yes i am dreaming so a lot of people have stopped dreaming don't you stop dreaming it takes guts you got to dig down deep to gut it out keep on going again and again and again until you make it happen because you know that it's possible you got to ask yourself what's your why what motive you, what pushes you? What drives you? And if that thing is internal, if nobody has to call you, if nobody has to prod you, if nobody has to reward you, if nobody has to give you anything, if you are self-motivated and self-regulated, you can have it. You can be it. You can do it. Judge not according to appearances. Don't judge your circumstances and the possibilities for your future based upon what you have now and because of what's going on now. No, 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 no. You must have the faith to call forth those things that be not as as though they were. And for some of you, you stop dreaming. You dream for a week and you stop because things around you don't look good. You dream for a month and when you get hit in the mouth, you quit and you give up. You dream for a while and when people tell you crazy, when people tell you stupid, and when people tell you you can never get done, you stop dreaming and you go back to knowledge. People are going to laugh at you, but let me tell you, I believe in revenge like Frank Sinatra. He said the best revenge is massive success. You must have faith. You've got to believe in yourself. You've got to believe in
in your abilities. You got to believe in your service, your company, your ideas. Unquestionably, take that leap of faith. Trust yourself and believe and know within yourself. And don't doubt in everything in you that everything is going to be all right. I dare you to use your imagination. I dare you when you broke to use your imagination. I dare you when you rich to use your imagination. I dare you under every single circumstance. Keep dreaming. Keep looking at your dream. Keep focusing on your dream. Keep going after the dream because that's where true success is. There's 86,400 seconds in a day. The separator between me and you and people that win and lose is what we do with those seconds. You want to win? You want to be a millionaire? You got to quit being so casual. You walk slow. You talk slow. You implement things slow. You talk a good game like you're going to be somebody. Wake up. You're going to get your ass kicked, dude. You got to get focused and get in a hurry. The separator is going to be who takes massive action quickly. And that's why most people never realize their personal greatness because they're casual about life and when you are casual about life you will end up a casualty you've got to develop a sense of urgency start working and developing yourself now and prepare yourself for what it is that you want because you expect to get it you meet somebody wealthy their family at one point was not wealthy and then the one shows up the one one person changes the family tree forever in my family I'm the one and it wasn't because I wanted it or I hoped for it I fought for it I want to win I want to fight for my family I want my mom and dad proud of me. I want my kids proud of me. I want me proud of me. I want to look in the mirror and be happy with the man I look back at. That he gave it everything. That he went for it. You've got to focus on you. And as you convince you, you will begin to see a difference in the things that you're doing. Selling yourself on your ability to perform a job. Telling yourself every day, here I go again. This is my day. And nothing out here is going to stop me. Everything has to do with you intending to win. If you make that shift, I'm going to win. We're going to play to win now. We're not playing to play we're not playing to see how we do. We're not playing for fun. Once you decide to win, once you start getting some winning, you start changing. You talk different. You walk different. You can change you. You'd be surprised how good you'd be if you just decide to win. Be number one in your office. Number one in your region. And don't get caught up in, well, I've tried it four or five times and things didn't work out. If there's something that you want and you're hungry for it, you've got to do what is required. Successful people stop to go negotiating the price in their life. You know what's stripping all your success? You keep negotiating the price you're paying. Man, all the work I'm putting in, it's not paying off. I don't see my family as much. I gotta do all this. You start negotiating it all the time and it's sapping all your damn energy. Successful people don't negotiate price, they negotiate worth. Could this be worth it to me to pay this? And once you decide it's worth it to win, it's worth it to be somebody, the negotiation stops. I can accept failure. Everyone fails at some point. I cannot accept not trying. It is your losses that will humble you. It is your losses that will give you a drive. It is your losses that will allow you not to make the same mistake over and over again. You are not your past. You can't be mad when somebody's pursuing the crisis that you're running from. You ain't mad about that, but you're mad about the reward because you knew it should have been yours. That was your reward, but because you was afraid to do the work because you were afraid of the crisis. Now, so Somebody else got your reward. Stop running from it and run to it. Stop telling me what you're going through. The greats, they get to it, they go through it. And the harder it is, the better. If you lose your job, if you go through a divorce, if you're coming back from addiction, if you're coming back from failure after failure after failure and disappointment after disappointment after disappointment, you must know within yourself there must be a deep inner knowing of your true identity. You've got to know you are a winner, you were born to win. It is your right to win. It is your right to have your dream. You don't get these ideas unless you also have the capacity to make it happen. Give yourself a fighting chance. Whatever you go after, whatever you say, this is your stuff. Pursue it passionately. Let there be a deep hunger in you that you won't be denied. And that when things happen, that they won't immobilize you. They won't deplete your energy. Something as powerful as you cannot be contained and stop. Temporarily delayed? Yes. Stop? No. You gotta learn how to take your pain and let your pain push you to greatness. You got to learn how not to give up or how not to give in. And you got to understand that greatness is within you and you got to pull it out. You got to climb every mountain. You got to pick up all the way. You got to cry if you got to, but whatever you do, you cannot give up. You cannot give in. 
mental toughness is a lot different than motivation. Because if I said right now, everybody in here, everybody, we're all going to run a half marathon in five days. All of us. We all going, yeah, we're getting fired up. I said, yeah, we're going to start tomorrow at 5 a.m. And everyone's hugging each other. Yes, 5 a.m. We leave. 5 a.m. comes. It's dark. It's cold. Our bed is comfortable. It's hard to get motivated at five in the morning. And maybe you do it one day, but again and again, you go do it again and again. That is the x-ray vision. It's seeing through your broken bones to get to your goal. You have to train your brain by doing things that make you uncomfortable consistently to build this mindset that when things get hard, which they will be, we don't shy away. We don't quit. We attack. I'm seeing through all those walls. I'm getting to where I want to go. You see, I've learned everybody on the face of this planet, they want something. Everybody that comes into this world, they want something. Everybody wants greatness. Everybody wants excellence. But the question is, what are you willing to go through in order to get it? What type of dedication? What type of commitment? What type of sacrifice? I, I tell people all the time, if this is not your vision, if you don't see this as part of your real contribution, if it doesn't make you fully alive and express, and it's your real goals, bail. Quit sooner than later. But if you know it's right, for you, then resilience is everything. The ability to be resilient toward your dreams, to keep marching on, win the struggle, the trial, the chaos, the frustration, the hurt, the anger, the disappointment, the shame, the regret, the embarrassment. When all that is there and you keep marching on, you know you'll be a successful person. It's the ability to be optimistic enough to know this too shall pass. This time shall change. I will find a way. I will honor my truth and keep pursuing my dreams. Dreams, thick and thin, storm or night, I will maintain my march. Mental toughness says, not only do I climb that doggone mountain, I enjoy climbing the mountain. I get a kick out the mouth. I get a kick out the weights. I get a kick out of going up against the number one team. I get a kick out of fatigue. I get a kick out of the grind. I get a kick out of it. I hope that you understand that every single person that you look at, every single person that you admire, every single person that you aspire to be like is literally just a regular human fucking being like you that has worked their mother fucking ass off. Now it's going to be hard. Understand that. It's going to be very hard. But you ain't got nothing else to do because let me tell you something about being not successful. Being not successful, that's really hard. So you might as well apply yourself to something that has a benefit. And what some of you doing wrong, you play the game, but you not the game. You play football, but you not football. You got to go all in. You take advantage of this opportunity. You let everything else go. You eat different. You study different. You practice different. That is something that is built and ingrained into a successful person, not because they were lucky with it, not because they grew up with it, because they developed it. By doing it once, they did it again, they did it again, they did it again. The more bold and courageous you are, the more bold and courageous you'll be in the future. The more confident you are today, the more confident you'll be in the future. The more you overcome yesterday's struggles today, the more you'll be able to overcome the bigger struggles tomorrow. Never forget these things. Keep marching, my friend. Every decision that you make has consequences. Are you making yourself better? Or are you making yourself worse? Are you moving forward or are you moving back? Are you making progress or are you stagnating? Every little decision you make counts. There are no shortcuts. There are no hacks. If you want to take the easy road, I promise you it's longer and more painful than the hard road. If you set out and you say you're gonna do something, do yourself a favor and don't lie to yourself because that is the worst thing that an individual can ever do. You think you lying to your peers. You think you lying to your mother. You think you lying to your teacher. You think you lying to your coach. At the end of the day, when you look in the mirror, you lying to you. In 10 years from now, nobody can do anything for you. That's gonna be the life that you created, not anybody else. You make your bed, you gotta lay in it. Let other people blame their parents, their boss, or the system. Let weaker people complain that the world isn't fair. You are the leader of your life. Choose the hard path. The path of responsibility, hard work, and sacrifice. The path of discipline, humility, and ownership that ultimately leads to freedom. Make discipline part of your daily life, and your daily life will get better. It's learning to discipline this mind. It's a muscle. The mind is a muscle. Emotion is a muscle. I don't negotiate with myself. Well, I'm going to do it tomorrow. I'm going to do this. Oh, let me like two more minutes till I'm ready. There's none of that with me. For decades, I go, I say, we do. I'm not here to discuss this sh with my mind. There's mind, and then there's soul and spirit. And soul and spirit, my soul knows. And when I say jump, you can jump. I'm not here to have a discussion. 
discussion with you. But you have to take control and train this brain. If you don't train this brain, it'll use you instead of you using it. Instead of letting your goals and your tasks and your health and your discipline waver, rise up and aggressively move forward down the path toward victory. You have no business being average, but now you justified it. You come up with these great reasons why you can't get up at five. You have these great reasons of why you have to do everything, why you don't execute, why you don't finish, why you don't follow through, why you say you don't exercise and you do it for about 10 days and you quit. You've got an excuse for why you're average. I guarantee you if you were humble enough, if you were hungry enough, if you really wanted what you said, you'd sit down and you'd study what you do and you'd say, I can do this better. That I have not exhausted all my time. I have not exhausted all my research. There's something missing. You're not where you're supposed to be. It's not going to take a lot, but it's a small gap, and the gap is called execution. If you want to execute just a little bit more, you'll be on a whole other level. And I'm telling you, you're not where you want to be financially. You are not the person you want to be, and you have not given yourself enough credit to say, I just need to get up a half hour earlier, and my whole life will change. I just need to get up one hour Early. I just need to work one hour longer. I need to stop hitting that snooze button. If you were to make that one change, that one sacrifice, you would stop dreaming and start living it. My new norm is you get up every fucking morning at four o'clock and you suffer. That became my new fucking life. Most people want to get out of it. I said, no, motherfucker, this is your new life. This is who you are. It's about executing regardless of your emotions. These test days, they test your fortitude. They test your endurance, your discipline, your grit, your dedication, your determination, your mental toughness at the very moment when everything in you wants to do absolutely nothing. You got to get the job done. Stop having dialogue with your emotions. Stop negotiating with your feelings and start to act. Your mind is a weapon and you got to begin to use it and pick that weapon up and control it. I want to know what the f*** I'm made of. I want to know what I can overcome. And I know that the harder the task, the harder the obstacle to overcome, the more strength I'm going to gain from it. It's an opportunity to prove that you're a winner. It's an opportunity to prove you are what you say you are in your head when you look in the mirror. When you look in the mirror and you say, there goes a bad mother you actually believe it. That's the importance of passing these tests. Successful people love the experience of not feeling like doing sh- but then going and kicking ass anyway. They understand that those are the real victories in life. They understand that it's easy to do sh- when you feel like doing sh- but they also understand that the real magic, the real glory is earned when your heart is not into something but your mind tells you, you, I'm going to do this sh- anyway and does it. That's where people separate themselves from the pack. That's where people earn the right to success. They earn the money. They earn the life. They earn the relationship. They earn the body in those little moments where they don't want to do what they need to do, but move forward regardless of how they feel. That's what champions know, champions understand, and champions can thrive on. And you don't get here by quitting when you're tired. You get here by quitting when you finish, when you're done. You don't stop when you're tired. You stop when you're done. You stop when you complete it, when you execute it. Execution is worship. In the unseen work is where you're trying to create that masterpiece. And that masterpiece is yourself. All that hard work goes in when no one is watching. There's no crowds. There's no cheering sections, all that sh- It's just you against you. And you have this rock, which is yourself. And you go through and you start to just chip away at these rough edges. Every fucking morning, you don't want to get up. You don't want to go for that run. You don't want to go to school. And each day, you fight that urge to stay in bed. But you still f- can get up, you chip away at another rough edge. And over a period of time, you begin to form that masterpiece. When we look at the masters, when we look at the best business people, we say she's gifted, she's smarter than me. She just somehow knows more than me. She's got a better education. She had an easier background. She got lucky. You've heard the cliche because it's true. The harder I work, the luckier I get. They don't see these motherfuckers, man. What they deal with every fucking day. I'm not good enough. Shouldn't it be here? Shouldn't it be here? Because every day, even though they're fucking the best in the world, 
that little motherfucker is still in there saying, oh man, we're not good enough. I'm not the strongest guy. I'm not the fastest guy. I'm not the smartest guy. But I will work and I will work hard. I will be up when my competitors sleep. I will be up when my enemy is curled up in bed. I will be up getting after it. The masters make the hardest things in the world look easiest. And in the moments where you push yourself, those moments tend to lead to success. But you've got to stop rationalizing. Stop making excuses. Stop telling yourself little watered down assessments of where you're really at. Tell yourself the truth. And the truth shall set you free. And the truth that I had to come to grips with, that I wasn't in charge of my destiny. The truth was that I wasn't giving all that I had. The truth was that there are some things that I wanted to do, but I didn't have the courage to act on those things. I had to start looking at my life differently. I started going to work earlier. I started being the last one to leave there. I started working harder than anybody else. The other guys could not. Why would you work so hard, Les? I've been cheating myself and my family, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, do it with everything that you have. Develop the habit of giving more than what you're paid for. Develop the habit of setting standards that others will be measured by. Do not go where the path may lead, but go where there's no path and leave a trail. I guarantee you, when you do it, nobody can do it like you do it. The problem is you don't hardly do it. You love sleep too much. You love that alcohol too much. You love that substance too much. You love that vice too much. There's something that you love more than yourself, than your dream, than your goals. And if you're going to make it happen, everything in the world has to become secondary. You've got to become obsessed to the point where people think you're crazy. You discipline yourself every day to do what is required. You sweat, you suffer, you endure, and at the end of it all, you win. If you can't right now, there's no one looking, man. And how you hold yourself, how you see yourself, what do you do when no one's watching? If you do it then, I guarantee you, you'll be doing it when everyone's watching. If today you never say good enough, tomorrow you'll always have enough. What if you give it everything you have and you come up short? What if you get weak along the way and you're throwing a towel on yourself? You surrender to your emotions. What then? Everybody tripping through something. Everybody, I don't care who you are, you're going through something. But your great life is in front of you. It's not behind you. What you did back there ain't got nothing to do with what God got for you. What you did back there was learn the lessons to get you to where you are at this particular moment right here. Maybe being weary doesn't mean you're weak. We're in hell right now. And... We can stay here, get the sh kicked out of us, or we can fight our way back into the light. We can climb out of hell, one inch at a time. It's okay to fall, because when you fall, you get back up. What I need you to do is I need you to find a reason to keep going. And if you can find a reason to keep going, I know you're strong enough to do it, because you're human. And every human has what it takes to get past whatever they're going through, if they decide to. Push through it, push through it. Tragedy and trials come to everybody. Only the strong survive. Listen to me very closely. Y'all running from obstacles when in fact it's the obstacle that's gonna take you to the next level. Like y'all running from pain, y'all running from challenges. You telling me how difficult your life is. Do you understand it is the difficulty that's gonna prepare you and take you to that next level? You ready to quit, you ready to give up, you ready to give in. You ready to tell me what's not working, who doing this, what's wrong? If you're not ready to get up every day and start all over again like nothing happened yesterday. Phenomenally skilled is cute, but it is a phenomenal will that says every time I get knocked down, I will get back up and I will succeed. I will not surrender. As you go through the challenges of life and you look at it and embrace whatever comes to you, don't run from it. Step toward it. Don't try and duck it like most people do. See, most people want it easy. See, if easy come, easy go. But when you go at what you're going to deal with and you deal with the difficulties of it, when you handle those hard things close at hand, making those hard decisions right now that you don't want to make, but you know that in order for you to get where you want to go, this is one of the hoops that you have to flip through. This is what you do. You are built for this. You would just believe that your day coming. 
that the sacrifices you are making today, they're going to pay off. But if you do not believe, it ain't going to happen. Keep fighting in the midst of the struggle. Keep fighting. Keep thinking positive. You only lose when you quit. It'd be one thing if life was like NASCAR. When you only have one lap left, they wave the white flag to let you know this is the last one. This is it. If you can make it around here, your race is done. But life doesn't wave a white flag. So then we wave our white flag, not even knowing that just around the next turn, just around the next sacrifice, just if you can make it through this season, just if you don't give up in this trial, see, the reason you can't stop is because you might be so close. Wouldn't it be a shame for you to quit when you're this close? Wouldn't it be a shame for you to walk away when you've come this far? Wouldn't it be horrible for you to bail out when you're just this close to victory you can't walk by what you see you can't give up because it doesn't feel good you can't let people talk you out of it you can't let your emotions stop you from moving forward keep believing keep moving keep marching keep crawling keep inching this might be the day this might be the one the guy was the new owner of a team, a baseball team that was in the basement of the league when he took it over. He went to the pitcher and he said, what is your best throw? And he said, well, I got a good curveball and I've got a good fastball. And he went on talking about his different throws. He said, but tell me this, what is your best throw? He thought for a moment. He said, I've got a good fastball. He said, that's all I want you to work on. Nothing else. Just develop your fastball. The next year, they went to the World Series. Most people don't know where their fastball is. Most people go through life never discovering what their talents are. Most people never develop their talents. They have skills and abilities, but if you don't nurture them, if you don't develop them, they will never serve you. Your gifts can take you many places if you develop your gifts. And you'll be surprised at the things that you're able to do. When you learn how to block things out, when you learn how to keep an eye single, learning how to concentrate, learning how to focus in, deciding that you're going to focus to develop your skills, you'll be surprised at the ideas that will come to you, of the people that you'll be able to attract, of the opportunities that you'll be able to see. You begin to see things that have been staying there looking you in the face saying, I can't believe this has been here all this time. But you can learn all the techniques in the world. If you don't believe in yourself, it won't happen for you. You've got to focus on you. And as you convince you, as you sell yourself every day, every day, every day, you will begin to see a difference in the things that you're doing. Selling yourself on your ability to perform a job, to achieve a certain objective. Telling yourself every day, here I go again, and I got what it takes. This is my day, and nothing out here is going to stop me. Decide that you're going to push yourself. You have something that you brought to the universe and that if you decide that my life deserves my developing this what I do well and becoming the best at it and mastering myself and seeing what I have within me I grant you that your gifts will take you places that will literally amaze you so you've got to work on it when other folk are having a good time you've got to have the strength of character to concentrate to read to digest information never ever allow anybody to make you feel bad about being so blessed we all have two people. We have the easy voice, which is that voice that we all love. That's that very comfortable voice holding you saying, it's going to be okay. Doesn't care how good you are, just loves you. Just loves you no matter how messed up you are in life. So that's that one voice. This other voice that we walk very far away from is a voice saying, hey man, you ain't doing shit. You're not working your butt off hard enough. You're not trying hard enough. Turn up this voice and listen to the truth. The truth is in this other part of your brain saying, look man, you're wasting a bunch of percentage here. We have 80 more percent that we're not tapping into because in this other 80% is suffering, pain, failure, self-doubt, darkness, and then a whole bunch of light. But to get to this light, you got to go through all of this. When you quit, your mind says we're done. So it doesn't expand. There's no expansion when you quit. When you say, F you, uh-uh, this sucks. I'm drowning. I'm miserable. I'm suffering. I'm broken, but I'm not going anywhere. What happens to your mind? It says, F 
He's not leaving. So we gotta expand. We gotta grow. We gotta figure this scheme thing out. So then these compartments in your brain, they have to work. And then you start to engage parts of your mind that you never engaged before. When you're in suffer mode and you say, I'm not gonna quit. You gotta tell your brain where you wanna go and how you wanna go and how you wanna get there. I realize if I keep going back and going back and going back, your mind will say, okay, we're gonna figure it out because he is not going to stop. You should can quit. You should quit can quit. Any path you take to get where you want to be, if that place is worthwhile to go, it's going to be fucking hard. So quit judging your quitting based upon how hard something is. Because every single path that you could possibly take to get somewhere where you want to be is going to be hard. Struggle, pain, misery, frustration, those are signs that you are on the right path and making progress. Nobody that is where you want to be has gotten there without these struggles, without the bleeding, without the pain, without the depression, without the misery. Nobody. And if you want to be something great, you are going to have to learn to accept the struggle as part of the rest. Every single day, you need to look yourself in the mirror and ask yourself, what am I willing to do to get what I want? And if the answer is whatever the fuck I have to, you'll get there in time. You're setting the example every single day of your life. You have to constantly owe that motherfucking machine. The machine is your mind. You got to keep challenging it every day. The price of regret is much heavier than the price of discipline. You never want to wake up one day day, one week, one month, one year down the road and go, Shh, man, I wish I would have listened to my gut. I wish I would have done this thing. You don't want to live in regret. If there's something you want to get done in work, your relationships, school, whatever it is, do it. Life is one big head game. And once you learn to play the motherfucking head game, it's no longer a game anymore at all. You can start living your life. Everything that you do is habit forming. And that includes hitting the snooze button. That includes sitting on the couch. That includes eating donuts. It's all habit forming. You know what else is habit forming? Discipline. Setting the alarm and getting up, going and working out, eating steak. That stuff is all habit forming too. I recommend you form some discipline habits. You are not where you want to be, not because you need any more gifts. You don't need nothing else. You need to discipline yourself. You need to learn to tell you no. You keep talking about everybody else you can't tell no. You can't tell you no. You can't tell you stop. You can't tell you quit. You got to get to a point where you're disciplined and you need to learn to check yourself. I want you to say, the reason I'm not an amazing yet because I hit the snooze button. That's why I'm not amazing right now. The reason why I'm not amazing right now is because I couldn't get up early enough because I told my I'm not an early person. I'm not amazing because I'm not doing what I'm supposed to be doing to be amazing. Your mind is a weapon and you got to be able to use it and control it. Most people are out of control with their mind. They don't point it at something. They let the world point it and they misfire all the time. You have control over your mind. You just have to assert it. You have to decide that you are going to be in control, that you are going to do what you want to do. Weakness doesn't get a vote. Laziness doesn't get a vote. Everyone wants something life hack that eliminates the need to do the work, but that does not exist. No, you have to do the work. You've got to hold the line. You've got to make it happen. What could you be if you worked as hard as you could? What could you be if you imposed real discipline in your life? I said you crank up the volume on that voice. Crank up the volume on that question. Max it out. And then go get some. You have to master the monotonous. It's the boring sh It's the everyday sh It's the regular sh it's the sh that you do every day that 99% of you motherfuckers think doesn't matter. The biggest war you ever go through is right between your own ears. It's in your mind. The mind's a very powerful thing. It has a tactical advantage over you all the time. It knows where you don't want to go. So it will guide you away from that. And that's why the mind will always win until you can reprogram it. You got to figure out a way to reprogram your mind to get outside the box. Whatever my mind said I don't want to do, I realized I must do that. The greats do things when they don't always want to. And that's the separation. Without discipline, they're nothing. And discipline is doing what you hate to do, but do it like you love it. Because really, the only person that you're fighting every day is yourself. It's not your boss. It's not this or that. Yeah, those are all obstacles. A lot of them, you cannot control those obstacles, but you can control yourself. We have to regain control of our mind. How you gain mental toughness, how you become the person you want to be, is constantly facing the things that you don't want to face. The only way anything gets accomplished, you got to work hard. I can't remember what the f*** in this paragraph to pass this test to get in the military. Read it again. Still not getting it. Read it again. But if you're not getting it, write it out. And guess what happened? I got it. I can't swim. I'm negative buoyant. Go back again. Can't 
can't swim. Go back again. Go back again. Go back again. I got it. I realize if I keep going back and going back and going back, your mind will say, okay, we're going to figure it out because he is not going to stop. To find real permanent peace, you first must go through suffering. You must go to the dark side of who you are. Every day I demand more from myself than anybody else could possibly expect. I don't compete with other people. I compete with what I'm capable of. A person that's obsessed and wants to just get there, they don't give a fuck what the temperature is. They no longer care because they know no matter what's out there, no matter if it's snowing, if it's a damn tropical storm, if it's 20 below, they don't care. They're going to run. It doesn't matter what the fuck's out there, what's in front of me. I'm just going to go. And that's how you want to get your mind. You have to train your brain by doing things that make you uncomfortable consistently to build this mindset that when things get hard, we don't shy away, we don't quit, we attack. I'm seeing through all those walls. I'm getting to where I want to go. You have to literally visualize the connection between what you're doing on a day by day basis with what you're wanting. What do you want yourself to look like 10 years from now? What do you want your bank account to look like? What do you want to look like physically six months from now or a year from now? You have to connect the dots. You have to remind yourself that these little things that you do are going to lead to the big things. If you think that you've given everything, you really have. If you think you're working hard, you're not working hard enough. You can always do more. You always have another gear, another level of performance. You can always push a little bit harder, get up a little earlier, work a little longer. Whatever it is you want more of, you have complete control over whether you get it or not. People don't have limits. We put limits on ourselves. There's a moment when you say to yourself, it can't be done. At some point, everything's going to go south on you. And you're going to say, this is it. This is how I end. Now, you can either accept that or you can get to work. You just begin. You do the math. You solve one problem, then you solve the next one. Instead of backing down, you push yourself forward into the unknown. Do you realize that every day you thought you wasn't going to make it? Do you remember them days where you thought it was absolutely unbearable and you thought you wasn't going to endure that one? Do you know that your survival rate for every last one of them bad days is 100%. You batting a thousand. You survived every hater. You survived all the evictions. You survived the firings. You survived all the tell you no nah, we ain't hiring. You survived all the trouble you ever been in. Your survival rate is 100%. You got to proactively prepare to catch yourselves. When you find yourself getting negative with people that you have allowed to push your buttons. When you find yourself becoming negative about what's happening to you and the circumstances that you're involved in. This belongs to you. This is yours. You're the captain. You're the master. You're the foreman. You're the general. You're the head. Don't give control of this to nobody. You're going to hit a wall. Everybody hits the wall. And that wall shocks some people. That wall knocked the life out of some people. That wall discouraged some people. The wall is painful. Some will choose to go back. But there's some small number who, when they hit that wall, they decide, wait a minute, I'm supposed to be over there. This person doesn't care about the pain because this person knows something. There's no gain without pain. So this person comes back anyhow again and again and again. And if you keep on hitting that wall, here's what happens to you that you will have an incredible breakthrough. And it's as if the universe says, let's help him out. I admire that kind of tenacity. Let's give her a hand. Let's send her assistance, send her resources. It will come out of nowhere as you're working times with tears falling down your face. And you'll look back on the times and you will cherish those times. Whatever storm you found yourself in today, don't give up. And I know it hurts. And I know you don't want to take it anymore. Your dreams look like you're seeing them from underwater. But don't give up. You have not seen the best days of your life yet. But you have to start living your life in expectation. You have got to start expecting great things to happen for you in order for it to happen. If you live your life in expectation, Expectations, that's what happens to you. If you live your life in despair, that's what happens to you. Say this to yourself every day. It's not over until I win. It's not over till I get through. It's not over till I get over. It's not over till I get what I want. Door can't open today, look out. I'm going to come back and take the hinges off. Ladies and gentlemen, that's how we must be. No guts, no glory. You've got to be willing to face rejection and no again and again and again. Defeat again and again and again. And every time life knocks you down, you jump up and say, it's not over until I win. It's not over. Oh, it's not over yet. Don't count me out yet. It's you, ladies and gentlemen. You've got to take personal responsibility to make it happen. Nobody's going to care more about your dream than you. 
not easy out there. People are always saying you can't, that you shouldn't, that you're not smart enough, not good enough. This world, it, it beats you up again and again until eventually most people, they just, they just stop trying. But you're not like that. You're a fighter. You always have been. Everybody in your life will have a turn back moment. No matter who you are, you're going to have such a period in your life where it seems like it's not working. You're going to have doubts. You're going to have a lot of trials and tribulations and challenges. You always have a moment in your life where the direction you're going, you will have to make a decision to keep going or you turn back. The sad thing is the average person turns back. It's hard living. Life is hard. Life is not easy at all. There's going to be challenges. You're going to get beat down and that tough situation is making you want to stop and you will fail sometimes and that's okay that's okay as long as you get back up take that next step keep moving forward and no matter what do not quit i don't care how low you are i don't care what you have done i don't care what you have experienced i don't care how devastated your life might appear to be the shambles it might be in wherever you are in life ladies and gentlemen you've got come back out there's a power in you that can enable you to be stronger and better than anything that's out here. Once you begin to know who you are, once you discover this power, the perfect essence of who you are, that's in all of us, that's permeating our being, that enable us to be the directors of our lives, it will set you free from believing, I can't see myself doing anything, that you truly can live a healthy, happy, prosperous life, and that you can make it in what are called the worst of times. Tough times never last, but tough people do. And you are tough. You made us some special stuff. There was nobody here before you. You brought something here that was not here before you showed up. Guess what? Nobody's going to do your work for you. Nobody's going to write your book for you. That has been given to you. You want your stuff? It's necessary you take responsibility for it. That you make it happen. That you don't give up. That you don't take any objection or disappointment or defeats personally. That you keep on keeping on. That you don't decide that I can't make it because you can't see the light at the end of the tunnel. That you realize that's a part of the program. And here's something you've got to resolve. Say this to yourself every day. Not over till I win. Not over till I get through. Not over till I get over. Not over till I get what I want. That's how you got to do that. You've got to have that kind of courage, that type of determination. If you want to make it happen, it's you. At the end of your feeling is nothing, but at the end of every principle is a promise. Behind your little feelings, it might not be absolutely nothing at the end of your little feelings, but behind every principle is a promise. And some of you in your life, the reason why you're not at your goal right now, because you just all about your feelings. you all on your feelings. You don't feel like waking up. So who does? Every day you say no to your dreams, you might be pushing your dreams back a whole six months, a whole year. That one single day, that one day you didn't get up, could have pushed your stuff back I don't know how long. Don't let that happen. Get aggressive, be vigilant, attack, and destroy the weakness in your head. Go. Everybody wants to do work when they're feeling strong and they're feeling refreshed. But what's more important is when you actually do the work when you're feeling tired and feeling weak and feeling lazy. When you have those feelings, it's even more important to step up and get some. There are areas within myself where I cannot compromise. I have to hold the line. I am going to work hard. I am going to train hard. I am going to improve myself. I am not going to rest on my laurels. I am going to own my mistakes and confront them. I am going to face my demons. I'm not going to give up or give out or give in. I am going to stand. I am going to maintain my self-discipline. There will be no compromise. Not now, not ever. Don't be upset by the results you didn't get from the work you did not do. I don't want you to be upset. I don't want you to be angry. I want you to be like, I didn't get the result because I didn't do the work. I didn't show up on time. I didn't do what I said I was going to do. I hit the snooze button. I made an excuse. I didn't make adjustments. I'm tired of people talking about, I want to be successful. I want to be great. Look, everybody wants to be a feast. And so it's time to do what real bees do. And let me tell you something. That means getting up early, going to bed late. That means you don't go to sleep when you're tired. You go when you're done. If you just decide, I'm going to keep my word. If 
I say something, I'm going to do it regardless. Being more disciplined. Find something that you can look at your life that you say, hey, I know I've got a problem in this area. Being late. Procrastinating. Not taking care of business. Being seriously not serious. I need to deal with that. I guarantee you, if you're wondering why it is that everybody else has this and that and this, 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 and why you don't have, sh- I guarantee you that if you take an inventory of your actions, they equal what you're getting. Period. If you do the work consistently, if you invest in yourself consistently, 10 years of motherfucking work when everybody else is partying, making excuses, doing the cool thing on the weekend is going to pay off. You have to remind yourself of how badass you really are. You take one second when your mind and your body are saying, we're done, we need to quit. You gotta remind yourself, hang on a second, I've overcome a hell of a lot more than this. And I have the strength to persevere, to move on, to not settle for what's in front of me. It's gonna be a dog fight. I would love to tell you that on the road to success, everything is gonna work out. It's not. It's a dog fight. It's hard. But I've made up in my mind that I will get a reward for the pain that I go through. I will not stop in the middle of the process. I will not be defeated. I will not be destroyed. I will take everything that happens in my life and I will allow the pain to push me to greatness. You will not break me. You will not stop me. The only way I lose is if I quit. You can't defeat me. If you want to be a diamond, you must go through extreme pressure. If you can't take pressure, then you're not a diamond. If you're ready to quit, then don't get started. If you're looking for this easy path, don't get started. If you think they're not going to close the door on you and say no a million times, don't get started. But every time they close the door i just get excited why because i am not a no i'm one yes away you can't keep telling me no forever you can't keep denying me forever you can't stop it i'm not trying to veer to the left or veer to the right or gradually get it together i'm getting ready to do something so radical and so massive i'm gonna turn the whole thing 180 degrees you got just enough strength left you got just enough time left you got just enough energy to make one big turn. So when people ask you, say, how you doing? Even if you're having some difficult times, say, I'm blessed and highly favored because anytime you wake up and you don't have a white chalk outline around your body, it's a great day. And so I say to you, it's possible you can live your dream if it's becoming a diamond, if it's having more, if it's achieving more. It's possible you can live your dream. It's necessary that you have a plan of action, that you're resilient, that you stick to, that you have the vision and never give it up, that you become Become creative and relentless and keep on coming back again and again and again. And that it's you that you got to take personal responsibility to make it happen. And when life knocks you down, jump back up and say, it's not over until I win.